<laughs> Happy Arvo, everybody. Thank you for coming back. Uh, today we've got this video here. It is what tourists think of Australia. So I'm putting myself in the mindset. Uh, I'm no longer in this Indiana house. I am in Australia and now I'm learning what they think. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I don't think I need to put myself in some kind of mindset. Let's just watch. And I'm interested to hear what the tourists think of Australia, obviously, because if and when I go to Australia, I will be a tourist. So I, and these people can, I don't know. All right, let's watch. Am I making any sense? No, 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 no. Last week, I asked random Australians what they think of America and then what they think of Australia. And this week, I went out to Surface Paradise on the Gold Coast and asked international tourists in Australia what they think of Australia. And here are the answers. I might have to watch those. I think I watched the, the one about Australians, what they think about Australia, but I need to watch the ones of what Americans think about Australia. So, where are you from? Oh, I'm cool. from Italy, cool Afghanistan, glasses. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm from Japan. I'm from Brazil. I'm from England. I'm from England. Uh, I'm from Sweden. And I'm from Norway. I'm from Japan. Can we get any Americans representing here? I'm from India. I'm from Brazil. And I'm... Here's what we'll do. I'll answer some of these questions. As an American? Oh wait, no, that doesn't work because I haven't been to Australia. From the Philippines. Wellington, New Zealand. Oh, uh, South Africa. And what do you think of Australia? Is it better? No Americans, okay. Or worse than you expected? Um, it's slightly better, but also kind of- <laughs> Slightly better than what he expected. Okay, what'd you expect? Like- Better or worse than you expected? Um, it's slightly better, but also kind of worse because there's snakes and spiders everywhere. No, it's better than I, I've heard about, yeah. It's much better than that. It's what are people saying about Australia and these other countries? I've only ever heard good things, so I feel like I could only be let down. <laughs> and there's no way... I, I already think it would be awesome. So how could it be even better? I'm not sure. It's better than I expected. I've but been here before. I lived here better. three years ago. Uh, I was on a working holiday visa. And I decided to turn back and go follow my dreams and study in Australia. It's better than I expected. Yeah, actually, I have... At first, I don't have any expectations, but um, living here was really nice, and yeah, I love the people. Yeah. yeah, it's a good place. <laughs> I was expecting more spiders and snakes, yeah. so I was afraid, <laughs> but it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, same. Uh, it's actually mm. a little bit better. Maybe it's not like that in this city. I don't know if they said what city they're in, but I feel like if you go out in the country, in the outback, it would be like that. than I expected. That's just what I think. I thought everything here was going to try to eat me, to be quite honest. <laughs> it's not that bad. And I haven't seen any drop bears, which is good too, right? People always say that there's so many uh, dangerous animals in Australia, but I haven't seen like a single one. I've seen a cockroach once, but I killed it. That's what, what was it? In Australia, but I haven't seen like a single one. I've seen a cockroach once, but I killed it. A cockroach? That's about it. Well, I didn't think it would be so much like America. It's got a lot of um, American influence instead of British. I thought it would have been more British than uh -huh. like New Zealand. The people, of course. Yeah. I thought all, all the people will be like blonde and blue eyes yeah. and norm, normal, but Australia are crazy. Yeah. Australians yeah. are crazy. It's very different to Italy. It's more uh, technological and uh, there are huh. more uh, beautiful people. <laughs> there you go. Cool, what's the best thing about the country? I think that the best thing are the girls and the beach. The weather. <laughs> I would say the best thing is the weather, especially in the Goldie because the weather is really good compared to Melbourne and stuff like that because it's really cold during the winter time. Well, this actually reminds me of like Long Beach, California slash Vegas, which is kind of cool. Okay. I wasn't expecting it. I thought Ooh, it was just Vegas. like a place by the coast. I love the beaches. The beaches are really nice. So I love the Gold Coast. I love Sunshine Coast. I like... I actually like the space, so there's like quite a lot of space. You can kind of get lost in the countryside then, if you like. My passion is uh, nature, which is in abundance here, and I love that. And um, I believe anyone who comes here and settles here will probably increase his age by 10. Yeah, I do feel like the, the nature, like, I think that's a really cool aspect to it, that, that you've got these big cities, but between them you've got all this incredible nature and outback and stuff you can on an adventure and that's where everything's trying to eat you and the spiders and stuff i feel like 
Ten years. It's like more multicultural. So like you meet different type of people from different countries. Mm. There's always a sense of optimism. Positive. I will say, considering they walked around and found all these people from like Italy and stuff, like maybe in New York, certainly in New York City, you could walk around and find like a lot of different cultures, but um, not in a lot of cities in America. A lot of cities, you'd, you're not going to find foreigners like that easy. Positivity. What so there is always be, a sense. There must be a lot of turf. Of optimism. Positivity. It's always good. What's the worst thing about Australia? Sense of optimism. <laughs> positivity. Pricey. The things are expensive. The prices. <laughs> it's, it's expensive. Everything closed early. In mm -hmm. Gold right. Coast. The worst thing for me is the traffic. Um, spiders, easy. Spiders are massive ass spiders and they're scary. See this, 18 years is a very young age for children to be an adult. I mean, giving so much of independence. Drink and drive. Drink and drive. Yeah, yeah, those kind of I thought he said drink and drive. You know, you let them drink and drive. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, but you can drink at 18. That's cool. That's cool. So it's pretty much America, but. Just a little bit, maybe better. I don't know. To be an adult. Just given that, you can drink at 18. I mean, giving so much of independence. Drinking rights. Drinking rights. Yeah, yeah, those kind of rights. I wish it was more like America. Like 21, 21, 21 is good. When they're, when they're more, more mature. More mature to make decisions. So hmm. far. I mean, I'm trying to think of most things in America at 18 you are. You can go into the military, you can buy a house, you can get married. And do all these things at 18 so i don't know the only thing that's 21 is is drinking and now smoking too but i'm trying to think like what hmm or none no it's for me it's more mature. mature to make decisions so far none no it's for me it's just it's very far from my country so <laughs> not really i can't think of any that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. If anyone else is watching this video thinking of coming to Australia, would you recommend it and why? 100%. 100%, yeah. Um, I'm not quite ready to go back to I'm the excited. UK yet. If you're thinking about it, stop thinking about it and do it, is what I would say. Of course I would recommend I gotta go. No, I can't just do it. I have a baby on the way next month. Get ready, people. He's gonna react to some of these videos with me. Because it's a massive country and there's so much stuff to explore and see. The people are really friendly and laid back and it's just something you gotta explore yourself. I think if you're an open-minded person and you come here and you take everything in, you don't judge stuff because it's different from what you're used to, I think you can really enjoy it there. I would definitely recommend it. Um, the Aussies are some of the most friendly people that you'll ever meet. Um, some of them you'll be able to understand. That's, I feel like that's like all you really want is some beautiful scenery and nice people. What else do you want when you're... I mean, weather too. So I guess Australia has it all, except the price. Some cheap, like alcohol and stuff is also good when you're trying to go someplace for a vacation. But apart from that, you need good people, good weather, good scenery. So Australia ticks the boxes. You just gotta bring a little bit of extra cash, I guess. Aussies are some of the most friendly people that you'll ever meet. Um, some of them you'll be able to understand really well. Some of them you'll have no idea what they're saying, but it's okay. You're the one with the accent, so you're the cool guy, and uh, it's totally uh, worth right. it. It's uh, it's a really cool place to be. Um, I'd recommend it because it's such a diverse and like massive community that will take in anyone, and it's very loving and like friendly, I guess. I, I've been to all the continents, America, Europe. Okay, so I this guy. I prefer to come and settle myself in Australia. Oh wow! Because um, if you've been to every continent, then that that says a lot. If you're saying I prefer Australia to to everything else. That's pretty cool. It's still a more family-oriented uh, country, more than America and, and, and the Europe. Mm. Here, kids are still with the families uh, on the weekends, which we don't see uh, in the US. In Japan, mm. like, it's, we are so not our country, and the, the distance between people are so close. Now, everyone feels here it's more spacious, because there's so many areas that, like, you can have a person. Yeah, I yeah we're definitely, from Australia. Definitely. definitely. Yeah. Wow. Because uh, it's wonderful, the paradise. In Australia is uh, my dream when I was young. Uh, when I was young, I saw the picture from Gold Coast, and there is. 
I sorry, I don't know if I knew a single word this guy said the last. I gotta go back. When I was young, I saw the picture he from the Gold picture. Coast. From the Gold Coast. And yeah, so a lot of beach and a lot of uh, culture because here have not just Australian, like Asian people, European. There's a lot of so cultures. Brazilian. Yeah, the best. Brazilian. Yeah, the best. <laughs> okay. So you saw a picture of the Gold Coast, and now yeah. you're here. Yeah. Dream come true, and now you're here. Yeah, yeah. Dream yeah, come yeah, true. Dream come true. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I didn't really understand that last part. Like, literally, I didn't understand what, what they were saying. But, uh, yeah, okay, wow, wow. Turns out Australia is a paradise and you should go. Okay, well, I can't, I can't say I learned anything new. Well, I think I did learn a couple new things. But um, the people there love it. Even the tourists love it. So, therefore, I should love it. All right. I, I, I got to mark out some kind of month on the calendar to go to Australia. That would be sick. But I think I'm going to watch this video next. What Americans think of Australia. Or would that be too similar to this one? Maybe I'll watch the video about um, how you guys had a war with like emus. Isn't that right? <laughs> I need to I need to see how that and guys lost. I'm going to have to watch that. Uh, <laughs> I saw some kind of video title like that. Um, subscribe if you guys want to see that video. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. And...